Hi guys, welcome to Komodo Crossing and in this video I'm going to be showing you the villages that I have on my southern island. I really enjoyed um, showing you the villages on my northern so I thought why not the southern? And this is the island where there's a couple villages that I'm not entirely with so if I was to ever do a villager hunt there will be a couple villages that I would like eventually like to move on and then do a villager hunt here because yeah I've watched many villager hunts on other YouTubers and they just seem a lot of fun. But yeah so uh, also, uh, to explain my outfit in case it, it, it's not so obvious to some people, just in case I am dressed up as a genie, or my version of a genie. Um, I think it's quite cute. I haven't seen anyone else dress up like this. I'd like to think it's unique. You know. Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to do a uh, quick shout out to one of uh, my subscribers who has been amazing in, in commenting and being supportive of my new channel. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna put your full name ab uh, above on the screen. Um, because I really do struggle to pronounce it, but I, um, I'm going to say Ada, I think that's right, and your surname, I apologise, but I will put, like I said, I'll put it at the top there, uh, because I really don't want to butcher your surname um, with my awful pronunciation, but yeah, thank you so much for being a subscriber, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. We're going to go track down some villagers, I haven't actually seen everybody uh, this morning, so, oh, let me just quickly explain, I'm not littering, this is, um, uh, tin I'm having here so I can catch flies, so I'm not, <laughs> I condone littering. It's not littering, I will, I, it's not. Right, so, Kix is here today, no, Kix, KK is here today, sorry. And the first villager we spot is Apollo. So you would have seen if you watched the last video that I have Avery, um, on my other island. So I do like the eagles. And Apollo wasn't one I necessarily was like going for particularly um but he turned up at my campsite and you know when apollo turns up at your campsite you don't turn him down in my way he's like i love his name it's in reference to like the nasa apollo missions which i think is great um and he's a cranky villager which i love anyway um it's awesome he's a bald eagle like what could be better really so yeah that apollo let's have a look so we've got the first villager that inside their house. I don't know if anyone can guess what the villager is by the house. Also a quick note as well, the flowers I have outside all my villagers' houses, both on northern and southern, reflect what their favourite colours are. Um, a kind of nerdy thing to do, but it actually made it really helpful to remember what their favourite colours are if I'm giving them gifts and stuff like that. So, who do we have in here? So we have Eric now. I had Eric before he became super popular, um, is what I like to say. I thought he was a reindeer. Um, apparently he's a moose. Either way, that's fine by me. I just think he's super cute and hilarious. And he's a lazy character, which is cute anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's why I wanted this guy. He's just adorable, basically, in my eyes. What, what kind of snack do you go for? What kind of option is that? Spicy sardines? Ew. Um, also, I am giving uh, my villagers their daily gifts, and what I tend to give them, and this is a recommend you guys do too, it's quite easy. If you, you know, you guys might have like loads of pumpkins going spare, give them one pumpkin, or you can give them a bunch of pumpkins, it depends, um, a day, and they like adore it, and they'll give you something back straight away. So um, I've actually managed to get his um, picture frame really quickly doing this. So I've already got his picture frame. Yeah, anyway, I recommend you use pumpkins as um, to sort of help get the photo frame. I know you can do fossils and you can do like fruit and stuff like that, but I found pumpkins work really well. There you go. Right. And in this house, so it's a pink house. Oh, there's a yellow flower. There, yeah, that yellow flower is not meant to be there. Let me just quickly get that. There we go. This is when the lag shows when I can't pick up a flower. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have tried to do this. There we go. There we go. So, a villager that has a pink house and only has pink flowers outside. What could it be? So, we have... Um, we have Flora. So, um, yeah. 
I really like Flora. Um, if you have watched, like I said, if you watched previous videos, you guys know that I used to be a zookeeper, so I do love my animals. But I've never worked with um, flamingos, actually. But um, the reason why I chose her is I really like um, unique designs of, of, of villagers. So, you know, you have, like, the cat group, the dog group, the ostrich group, the bird group. But then some of the characters within that are, like, unique. Like, Drago's unique with the alligator group. Julian's unique with the um, horse group. And she's unique with, well design is unique but also she's got that curved beak and stuff like that and also she's a peppy villager and peppy villagers are hilarious so i really like her and also i think it's really cute that um her interior design is meant to look like um a flock of flamingos all around a pool because flamingos are incredibly social so she's probably um got these flamingos so that she doesn't feel lonely which is quite sweet so there you go although um because i've given her clothes now the clothes are replaced the um Flingos, there you go. Right, let's keep going. Uh, no, they're not in. They're not in. Oh, there, there we are. So, this is one of my favourites um, that I have on this island. So, I, I did used to look after crocodiles. So, I of course had to have a crocodile on my island. And no, she's not the most realistic looking. But um, I chose her because... Nintendo are trying to make reptiles cute and more appealing to a wider audience by making them pink and have hearts on them. So, I agree with that. I, I think we should make reptiles look as appealing and cute as possible so you guys can see them the way I see them. But there you go. I think she's adorable. She's really sweet. I like her. And then house on the left. Who do we have? So this is Amelia. Now, yes, she is another eagle character. There's only two female eagle characters. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but her design is amazing. I think she's meant to be some type of maybe South American or potentially. Could be wrong on that. Um, she's named after the harp, which wasn't she the first woman to fly over the Atlantic? I want to say that. Could be wrong on that. Um, I, yeah, fact check that for me. But yeah, so I really like her. I really like her design. And she's a snooty personality. So they call you darling and stuff like that. Um, so she's adorable. And also, I don't know about you, but I really like her interior and stuff like that. I do like that. They really do like the pumpkins. They seem to really enjoy it. And they always give me something. Oh, an arcade seat. Not the most exciting. I haven't got her photo from her yet. I've only got it from four of my villagers so far on this island. So I'm still working on it. Got it from Apollo and from Eric from the two that we've already seen. I don't want to spoil who else I have. So here. Now this guy used to live on my northern island. Um and he's called Papi. You guys might not have heard of him, you might have, I don't know. But he is a horse, but he's actually based um his design is based on Old Capi quite clearly. I mean one, his name rhymes with Okapi, Papi the Okapi, but um He's got the stripes on his legs and also on his arms when he wears short sleeves. You can see that. Um, and our cuppies, I don't know whether you guys know what they are. They are, the best way I can describe it, they are kind of like small giraffe crossed with like an antelope. And they have really long tongues like giraffes, but they're a lot shorter. But they are um, just as, as, as beautiful and almost a little bit of it because they're like mini giraffes. Um, so if you have any zoos near you that have a cuppies, I recommend you go see them because they are adorable and obviously puppy's adorable as well he's a lazy villager so he's cute he loves nature he likes talking about bugs and food and stuff and who doesn't love that oh what another kid smock i have to say though i don't like his interior really do not and his the music i don't know about you guys but it sounds really creepy i don't know i think it sounds creepy And we're gonna go over here. Let's see. That was an accident. So we got this house here. So this is one of the villages that I really do like. But um, if I had if I had to like swap a villager out, be one of them. Um, now this is Tex. He's awesome. I'm sh I'm sure if like I said if you watched the previous one, you know I have a penguin on my pre on my other island called Hopper, who's a design of a based on a rock hopper penguin. I believe Tex is based on the um, South African penguins. Could be wrong on that, but that's what I to me that's what he looks closest to. Um, 
Ali says picante as his uh, catchphrase, and that, that means spicy, I think. So um, it's quite cute. And also, he's a smug villager, and he likes playing, you know, rock band instruments. And his interior is like an ice bar, so it's pretty cool. What am I going to get? Ugh. Oh. I would really like a frame picture of you. So, like I said, Tex and another villager, I'm happy to swap out only once I've got their photo frame because I still really like them as characters. And, like, once you get the picture, like, you've sort of succeeded. So, yeah. Now, this one is one of my favourites. She likes pink and purple. So, does anyone know who it is? It is. Ayana! So, um, she's quite popular. I'm sure a lot of you guys know her. She's one of the deers. Um, She's currently crafting right now, which is exciting. Hopefully, it's something interesting. And her design is really clever, actually. Pond stone. Do I have pond stone? I don't think so. Um, her design is based on Roman um, Greek mythology for the goddess of the hunt. Um, her, I think in Roman mythology, she's called Diana, I believe. So um, that's why she's got the name, because of the, like, the deer reference, goddess of the hunt, um, which is really cool reference to have and also her design it's like super pastel-y um not very realistic but she looks so pretty and her interior of her house is really pretty unfortunately one of my characters gave her a futon bed which has kind of ruined the aesthetic but you know it is what it is um i think i haven't i need to give her a pumpkin for the day i have got her picture i got it really quickly as well she was the first villager on my island to give me a photo frame Okay. Okay. Yes. What are you gonna give me? Oh, I have got nothing good today. And the snooty villagers tend to give you like really like good clothes, but it's obviously run out of them. That was a fitness tank is not exciting. Right. So I think those are all the villagers that were in their houses. So now we're gonna have to go track down the rest. So we've got this. You guys might know who lives there just by the outside of it, I'm not sure. And that's Gail's house, we've already met Gail. We've got this villager. Excuse the lag, it was doing really well for a while and I didn't want to jinx it by saying anything, but it seems to um, be struggling. So it's two villagers, oh, we've already found one of them. So this one, I don't know whether you guys are going to know this one at all. He's not a popular one, I don't think at all called Leonardo and now he's a jock. Now jocks um, are not very popular, I know I can really only tolerate one jock per island I think. Um, but he's a leopard and i done a bit of work with leopards in the past. One of my favourite animals, they are amazing so I had to have a leopard and I know there's Bianca the snow leopard. I don't know, Just I just wanted to have like, you know, the kind of African coloured leopard instead. I don't know. He, I think he's quite cute. He does look like he's a bit grumpy most of the time, but then I think that's kind of funny. Um, and also he's sitting there eating the donut. He's so cute. I quite like him. Like I said, I know he's a jock. Some jocks are alright. You know, I don't, I don't mind one jock per island. But we've got to track down the last one. I don't know where she's going to be. I'm hoping she's not in the museum. Because that would be a pain. So, let's just, oh, the lag is, is for real today, We're doing so well, it's alright, it's alright, I won't complain too much, so let's, let's run, if we can run, we'll have a look on the beach, I bet you she's in the shop. Now, this last villager is a bit of an unusual choice for me, I didn't like this group of animals for a long time. I thought they were weird looking, they didn't look realistic in any way and I was like, mmm, but after a while I was like, you know what? Marina! So yeah, meant to be uh, an octopus. Now there's three of them and they're like super popular. I personally only like Marina, the other two. One of them is meant to be a, based on a type, like Zucker's meant to be based on a type of octopus like fried dough ball thing i could go that wrong but i think that's what it is which to me is hilarious but also a little bit dark um uh, and also um octavian just looks really angry um so that's why i don't like him but the way i got around it with um not being fitted out is she to me just looks like a pink alien and that's quite cute and i'm not gonna lie i really love like her like like little like sucker pod arms and legs and also 
What's really cute with the octopuses when they're on the beach, you see their little sucker pods actually imprint on the beach, which is really cute. So, um, I really like her. Did I really give her a present today? Maybe I have. But yeah, she's really cute. And I have her picture as well, which I was really chuffed with. But yeah, so, the two villagers that I would swap out to do a villager hunt would be Leonardo and Tex, those two. But only once I have their pictures. But yeah, so, those were my villagers on my southern island. I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. Just enjoy this. Oh, there's a slingshot um, balloon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I thought I'd leave you with this um, amazing pumpkin carriage we got from the update. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. It helps a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, um, hit that subscribe button. It would help me a lot as well if you've enjoyed it, of course. Um, I will be making a lot more videos. Uh, now I've done an introduction to myself, I'm going to be doing a lot more like um, tips and tricks of Animal Crossing that I've found, so um, look out for them. Um, yeah, until next time guys, bye!